welcome back to my channel. So today I wanted to share with you my first impressions on this foundation right here. This is the Smashbox Liquid Halo HD Foundation. And in case you're wondering, I am in the shade number six. And if you wanted to gauge where you are skin tone wise, I am a MAC NC40 for comparison. So I posted a photo of some of my Smashbox goodies that I received this past weekend. And a lot of you really wanted to know my two cents on the foundation. And I will review the other two products in that photo. I just didn't think that a first impressions video would be the best way of reviewing the products. Now before I get started with the application, let me just read what it says on the box packaging. So the Smashbox Liquid Halo HD Foundation has an SPF of 15 and it is oil free and comes with one fluid ounce or 30 mils of product, which is standard for a foundation. Get a totally even radiant finish that feels fresh and alive. Each pigment is encapsulated in a translucent gel to create that coveted natural lit from within glow. And it is oil free and it has a patent pending technology and gives light to medium coverage. So this is what the foundation looks like outside the box. It has this little cap right here that keeps the foundation away from dust and everything. And it comes with a pump, which is awesome because it's not messy with the application and you can really control how much product you get. And it comes in this glass packaging, which is pretty hefty in my opinion. And I actually love the gloss that it comes with because it's very clear and you can really see true to color what shade that you're getting. And this is exactly what the number six looks like on the back of my hand. Today I will be using a brush to apply the product and this is just a synthetic round top kabuki brush and this is from RC Cosmetics. So let's go ahead and pump this baby out. Ooh. So this is what the consistency looks like. Off the bat it is a little bit runny but as it sets a little bit on the back of my hand, it does feel like a gel. So now I'm just going to stipple this onto my face with this brush right here. You try to run, you try to hide. It's just a game of I'll be Jekka and you be Hyde. I'm here and I gotta find out if this is real, if this is something that I can feel. Just looking at the mirror right here, I can see that it is more of a light than a medium coverage foundation just because I can still see like some of my blemishes peeping through. I have a breakout right here and I can see it pretty visibly right here and then um, also right here on my cheek area and also I have some scarring right here and I can still see it and I can also see that the foundation shade is just a tad lighter than the rest of my body and that's because I've been self tanning but anyways I wanted to try number seven but that one was way too dark for my skin tone and so if you're trying to find the right shade for you and sometimes you're in between shades the best solutions that I have for you is to buy two foundations that you think you can mix together but if you do have the budget for just one foundation I suggest that you pick the lighter shade of foundation just because you can easily fix that with a bronzer or even a darker powder but with a darker shade it's a little bit harder to make it lighter so just by looking at the finish of the foundation and how it feels on the face it feels very lightweight it feels like I have nothing on my face and it even shows in the mirror it looks very skin like and it's not like like a radiant finish but more of a natural finish and I know I always say natural but it really does look very natural so let me just try putting on another layer of foundation just to see how different it is from the first layer confused I can play any way you want it are you hearing me now are you hearing me now you can run the cover baby you can so I just put another layer of foundation on my face and I can see that it's covered my blemishes already I don't see any redness anymore but I can still see it peeping through so I think the most that you can get out of this is probably a medium coverage and then on this side 
yeah, I can still see some of the blemishes peeping through. And what I decided to do was kind of dab on the foundation right on top of my blemishes just to see if it could work as a concealer and, and just blend it out by stippling the brush around it. And it definitely works. The redness is gone, but I can see that it's really accentuating my blemishes because I have acne right now and I'm trying to treat it so it's a little bit dry around that area. And when I look up close in the mirror, I can definitely see that you can see like the patchiness just a little bit but I'll definitely check in with you later in terms of the dryness around this area but in terms of finish like I said earlier it's very natural and skin like and very velvety but it's not radiant or dewy at all upon first application anyway let me just finish the rest of my makeup and I'll be right back so I just finished putting the rest of my makeup on I tried really hard not to set my face with any kind of powder I did put a little bit of blush on top just to see how it adheres to other products but so far so good I can see that the foundation has definitely set on my face already and I can see a little bit of radiance already I was only gone for probably like 30 minutes trying to finish the rest of my makeup and I can see a little bit of radiance right here on the tops of my cheeks which is a really really nice and attractive glow and I can also see a little bit of radiance around my nose area which is the one that gets the most oily so we'll see how the foundation lasts so now let me test the foundation under flash photography it it does have SPF of 15. So I tested it using both my phone and also my camera. So I'm looking at the photo from my phone right now and I haven't seen the one from my DSLR but it looks pretty good. It still looks a little bit lighter than the rest of my body which is normal for a foundation that has SPF in it. It doesn't cast off that white ghostly look on the face. So right now it is 2.34 in the afternoon and I will check back in with you and see how the foundation is looking after a few hours. So it is now 6.55 in the afternoon and I'm actually going to class right now. I have class in five minutes, but I just thought I would check in with you and share with you how the foundation is holding up. So definitely my nose area is a little bit oily, but that is expected considering the nose area is definitely the most oily part of my face. So right now I guess I'm just going to blot that area just to see if the foundation is still there and if not I'm probably going to set it with a powder just to see if it's still going to hold up by the end of the day so that's what I'm gonna do right now blotting, mm, blotting. okay now that I've blotted, I can see that some of the foundation has come off so I'm just going to set that area with some powder Okay, good is new. As for the rest of my face, it still looks pretty good. I'm really liking how the foundation is looking right now. And I can see a little bit of radiance on the places that I would highlight, which is awesome, but it's not too much. So it still looks pretty attractive. And then checking back with the blemish right here where I have the little dry patches, I don't see any dryness anymore. You should just not set it with anything and let the foundation set in before doing anything else and then for the rest of my face my blush area I don't see any patchiness or fading which is good which means that it adheres to other products as well and yeah I just love the luminosity that it gives right now and this is without powder and so it will definitely last a lot longer on me if I had set it with a powder but in general I'm just pretty impressed with this foundation overall I just love how natural it looks on my face and I don't know I'm really happy with it and also like looking at my large pores right here on my cheek area I don't see it at all it doesn't accentuate my large pores which is good if anything it kind of blurs it out I guess it's the HD technology of the foundation and also on a side note I looked at the photo that I took with my DSLR the flash photo and it definitely did not look like I had a white cast on my face and it looked the same and normal Normal as if you know someone was looking at me face to face so that's pretty good for a foundation that has SPF and I'm definitely impressed and yeah so I'm gonna go to class and then I'll check back in with you at the end of the night 
So it is now 10.37 at night. So it has been about eight hours since my first check-in. So I just got home from class and I already had dinner and that's why the lips are kind of missing right now. But let's examine the foundation right now. So just by looking in the mirror, I can definitely see that after eight hours, all of my natural oils have peeped through already, but it's not too much, which is great for a foundation considering that I just used it on its own. And from what I can tell, I still look pretty presentable after eight hours. I can see that I'm a little bit shiny on my cheek area as well as my forehead area, but around my nose area, it still looks pretty good from when we had put powder earlier. But yeah, I'm really impressed with the foundation by how it's holding up. I can definitely see if I look very close in the mirror that it's starting to break down a little bit. And what's amazing is that the blush is actually holding up as well. And so you know that it really adheres to other products very well. So with this foundation and pretty much any type of foundation if you want it to last a little bit longer definitely put a primer underneath if you have normal to dry skin it's definitely not necessary for you to set your whole face with powder just because I felt like when I was observing it earlier and then I'm observing it now it still looks pretty similar and I love the fact that the radiance in the skin really stayed constant throughout the day and I really love that claim of them having a natural lit from within glow because it's pretty true because I can definitely see that it's pretty glowy on the places where I want it to be glowy but if you have combination or oily skin definitely use a primer beforehand and then set it with a powder to make it last a little bit longer but yeah that's pretty much it I am definitely loving this foundation right now and I'm loving how flawless it looks I literally cannot stop looking at my face right now just because I'm pretty impressed by how it performed throughout the day just by itself. Let me know in the comments below if you've tried this foundation and if you liked it, disliked it, hated it, loved it, whatever it is that you thought about this foundation, leave them down below. I would love to see your input and I'm sure a lot of people would love to see other opinions as well. If you have any more first impressions or reviews or demonstrations that you would like me to do on my channel, please feel free to leave them in the comments below and I will talk to you again soon. Bye!